I'm Richard Colbrand, the Chief Executive of New South Wales Rural Doctors Network, or RDN as we like to call ourselves. RDN is a charity and we've been around for 35 years. Our purpose is to support and sustain access to quality healthcare for those that live in remote and rural communities in Australia. This short film is about a special project operating in Australia right now, a project called Collaborative Care for Remote and Rural Communities. Collaborative Care is a community-based development program working to support health workforce models and service models in remote and rural communities. In Collaborative Care, we're working with five different regions across rural New South Wales to support the development of community-based methodology and identifying tailored solutions to workforce models and workforce solutions within those communities. In the cities, they can afford to set up models of care that use specialists who only work in a small range, narrow range, and focus all of their attention on that narrow range. I think we have been trying to do that across rural and remote Australia for the last 20 or 30 years, and it's not working. That's why we don't have clinicians coming out here. So it's time to look at rural generalist models of care and models of care that focus on collaboration. Our Canola Fields project is one example of this approach. Dr. Ros Bullock, a local GP in the rural town of Canoundra, has developed a multidisciplinary team-based mode of care for people with chronic and complex conditions. I guess the biggest differences for patients um, that I noticed going from city to country is the distances that they have to travel for care and the fact that you don't always have everything that you might need or want um, right at your doorstep. But one of the uh, other big differences, which is a really good thing, is the way that community is fostered and built in rural areas. I think that happens more easily and is more natural, I think, in a country town. Community plays a major role in rural practice. We need to be involved in the community so that there is a mutual trust between not only the healthcare professionals but the patients, like the consumers of our services. Out here you're basically treating everybody, every single type of patient population, so broad experience, a lot more exposure. And also out in the rural community it's a lot more laid back, uh, there's no traffic, a lot of nice people. The community plays a huge part in rural practice in a small town like ours um, because we really get involved in their families and what happens in the community. So you look, at a, you look at everyone with a much broader vision, I guess, in terms of trying to help them and, and see if you can actually improve their outcomes. So an example of how our team works is that we very deliberately wrap our care around a patient. So I think the key quality is that it's patient-centric. And that means that the decisions that are made and the reason for getting together and the, the things that are discussed are all to do with improving the care of that person. And I guess trying to make the systems work so that that person's care is maximised. There is a lot of time required to get the team together and to make it all happen, but I think once you invest in that, the rewards definitely outweigh the drawbacks of, of going through that. You do get a large range of things coming through the door and you really have to work out what's going on with everyone and work with the team to, to sort it out. Working in a team is not time consuming at all. It actually adds so much more benefit than what it takes away. Any time that we spend collaborating with other healthcare professionals is very worthwhile. Emotional issues are tricky to manage because you do tend to know everyone and know a lot more histories than you might otherwise in other places. Again, it's about the support that the community and the team um, provides for each other and it, it's, it's certainly challenging. Um, but yeah, just having a great strong community around you makes a huge difference. Oh, this is a lifelong commitment to stay in this area and I can never imagine myself leaving Canoundra. I have no intentions to leave Canoundra. Um, we love it as a town to live in. Our kids have all been born and bred here. Um, we have a lot of connections to this area and it really feels like home. Yeah, this, this definitely has been a lifelong investment in the sense that I can see how the systems can work better together and I'd really love to be able to keep working like that.
Collaborative care is about partnership. It's not about one organisation or one group of people doing work. Collaborative care is about everybody within the system, be they local, regional, statewide or federal, participating, engaging, contributing the best they can to support our remote and rural communities. When rural communities get the opportunity to trial anything that's innovative, it shows what's possible. And when communities embrace you know, these opportunities to trial new and exciting opportunities for them, then it really does mean that they're invested and they see the worth and they believe in what's happening. So it becomes a critical part of you know, making sure that we're meeting the needs of communities. In our Snowy Valleys project, in southern New South Wales, community representatives from many small towns are doing just that, coming together to meet local health needs in their communities. My name's Catherine Cusack and I'm the project officer for the Snowy Valleys LGA Collaborative Care Program. The Collaborative Care Program is all about getting people of the Snowy Valleys LGA the best care in the primary health care area that they can get when they need it and where they need it. Obviously this project is one of a kind at this stage in the Snowy Valleys area. We haven't got anything similar to it and I felt it was very important to have input to it and to extract from it what we could which is going to benefit our town. Finally trying to get this puzzle together that we're all receiving exactly what we deserve good health care in our area. Our rural communities are challenged by a lack of resource, a lack of workforce, and the need to ensure sustained, coordinated care. It's time to think about doing things differently, and the community-based development approach is at the centre of ensuring we respond to local needs. Rural and remote communities face a number of decisions that aren't necessarily faced by people who live in urban or metropolitan areas. But it means that they get the ability to think for themselves about what's right for them. I can see big changes uh, in the healthcare planning and cooperation across these communities in the past two years um, since I first visited. Collaborative care is special because it puts community at the centre. It looks to understand local needs, but also appreciate and celebrate local skills and capability to support decision-making and design of the health workforce and health system models. <laughs>